Hi and welcome to this video. We are in the second week of March 2023 and today I'm here to present to you the DV 2023 program report. Now, for those of you who have been following these discussions, we've indicated that as the diversity visa program is currently being administered, interview scheduling is based on embassy performance rather than regional queues. So, in this report, not only will we consider the statistics of the DV 2023 program, but we will also take into consideration the status of interviews at a number of embassies which I would like to refer to as our embassies of interest. These are what our report comprises. Now, let's begin. This is the table showing the current statistics of the DV 2023 program. At present, we have a total of 61 cases in transit from KCC to various embassies and consulates. We also have a total of 8,224 cases ready for interview, which amounts to 17,924 applicants. The number of applicants put on administrative processing and 221G are 200 and 94 and 3,519 respectively. Applicants refused visas so far amount to 1,111, whereas those who have been issued visas so far amount to 14,956. That puts the number of visas remaining to be issued out in the DV 2023 program at approximately 40,000. In case you would like to know the details of these statistics by region, then look in the description of this video. The link leading to this page is included there. Now, to the second part of our report, which concerns the status of interviews at our embassies of interest. There are 12 of such embassies, and in a moment, we will consider them one after the other. But so you know how I came about with the list of embassies of interest, I took into consideration two factors together. The embassies in question are embassies that have many applicants assigned to them. You remember we said that when an embassy has many applicants assigned to it and the interviews conducted at that embassy are not at a high rate, by the end of the fiscal year, many of those applicants will end up not being interviewed. And then in addition to that, the second factor is that many of the viewers of this channel are to be interviewed at those embassies. Now, for each of the embassies concerned, we will consider two parameters. The current cutoff number of the region concerned and the current case number range that are receiving their interview notification. We are taking into consideration these two parameters because together they indicate how well an embassy is performing. Another thing is that these parameters pertain to the month of April. Most of you are aware that the cutoff numbers published during the month of February 2023 as well as the interview notifications sent out after the publication of those cutoff numbers pertain to the month of April. That is the reason why you will hear me refer to the month of April. Now, without further ado, our first embassy of interest is the U.S. Embassy Abu Dhabi, the UAE. This embassy interviews cases from the Africa, the Asia, and the Europe regions. But most applicants interviewed at this embassy are from the Africa and the Asia regions. So, beginning with the Africa region, the color number established for the month of April is 50,000. Interview notifications are being sent out to applicants assigned to the U.S. Embassy in Abu Dhabi up to case number 35,000. 35,000 being close to 50,000 indicates that this embassy is performing well. And that is confirmed by the Asia region 
where the cutoff number for the month of April was established at 18,750 and interview notifications for applicants from the Asia region are being sent out up to 15,000 case number for that embassy. So, the U.S. Embassy in Abu Dhabi is performing well. Next to the Embassy in Accra, which interviews cases from the Africa region. With 50,000 cut-off number for the Africa region, interview notifications being sent out to applicants to be interviewed at the Accra Embassy is currently up to 20,000. 20,000 being very far from 50,000 indicates that the U.S. Embassy in Accra is performing poorly. Next, we have the U.S. Embassy in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where interview notifications are currently being sent out up to case number 18,000, which is another indication of poor performance. Number four is the U.S. Embassy in Algiers, Algeria, Algeria being an exception country where the cutoff number for the month of April was established at 27,550. Interview notifications for the embassy in Algiers are currently being sent out to cases up to 25,000, which is close to 27,550 and is therefore an indication of good performance of the U.S. Embassy in Algiers. This embassy has featured on our list of best performing embassies since the beginning of the DV 2023 program. Next on our list of embassies of interest is Ankara, Turkey. This embassy interviews cases from the Africa, the Asia and the Europe regions. For the month of April, interview notifications are being sent out for this embassy up to 20,000 for the Africa region up to 4,000 for the Asia region and up to 8,000 for the Europe region. Now, these case number ranges being far below the respective cutoff numbers for those regions is an indication of poor performance on the part of the Ankara Embassy. Next is Colombo, Sri Lanka, where interviews are mostly scheduled for the Asia region. Interview notifications are being sent out up to 9,000 case number for that embassy, which is indication of poor performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Next is Kathmandu, Nepal. Nepal is an exception country where the cutoff number for the month of April was established at 12,600. Interview notifications for the month of April are being sent out up to that cutoff number which is an indication of very good performance on the part of the embassy in Kathmandu. Next is Khartoum, Sudan, where interview notifications are being sent out up to 10,000 case number for the Africa region. And that is an indication of poor performance on the part of the U.S. embassy in Khartoum. Our ninth embassy of interest is the U.S. Embassy in Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of Congo, where interview notifications are being sent out up to 35,000 case number for the Africa region, which is an indication of good performance on the part of this embassy. Now, the embassy in Kinshasa actually woke up because this embassy was identified as the poorest performing embassy during the first quarter of the DV 2023 program. Number 10 on our list of embassies of interest is Nairobi, Kenya, where interview notifications are being sent out for the Africa region up to 14,000, which is far below the 50,000 cutoff number for the Africa region for the month of April and is therefore an indication of poor performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, Kenya. Number 11 is Riyadh, Saudi Arabia where applicants from both the Africa and Asia regions are generally interviewed. Interview notifications are being sent out to applicants from the Africa region up to 20,000 case number and up to 4,000 case number for the Asia region. Both of these case number ranges being far below the cutoff numbers established for their respective regions indicates that the Riyadh Embassy is poorly performing. 
And then finally, on our list of embassies of interest is Yaoundé, Cameroon, where interview notifications are being sent out up to 35,000 case number for the Africa region, which is an indication of good performance on the part of that embassy. So those are our embassies of interest as well as their performances during the month of February 2023. In case your embassy was not mentioned, then it means that that embassy did not meet the criteria cited earlier on in this video. Either there are not many applicants assigned at that embassy or many of the viewers of this channel are not to be interviewed there. And so that is it. We've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. See you God willing in the next one.